Hello, welcome back to another Iron Man. How to uh, level up crafting. We're leveling up uh, crafting this episode. So now we just been making uh, crafting urns. So this is how you're gonna make crafting urns. Basically, we mined a whole bunch of clay. And then you craft the plain wood cutting urns. Uh, no ruins. This is actually gonna give us a crafting level. So compared to Dungeoneering, this is also really fast uh, crafting. It's just that you need level 41 crafting at least to really use this, it seems. We'll look at the crafting window, but uh, congratulations. Now you are level 46 crafting. We got the level 50 uh, fletching last episode. So now maybe we can get to level 50 crafting. Probably won't get it all in a one video, right? Maybe. Maybe it's going to take a while. It does take a while to uh, create these urns. Although we can see it is like a 48 experience each one. And we're actually gaining something out in the uh, real world of RuneScape. Unlike Dungeoneering where you go do all those dungeons, you craft them, you get a whole ton of crafting and cooking and fishing experience. You get like thousands of thousands of experience in those. And same with uh, Dungeoneering. Just did like the 10 floors and then we got to level 40 dungeoneering probably just took like five hours or something well minus us just uh, looking around trying to figure out the prices and theory craft what's a good way to run dungeoneering so now we're just gonna go mine some clay and then we could turn it into soft clay so if we deposit everything we already have uh, 140 plain fishing urns and then we'll just wait till the timer goes to two minutes so we can kind of uh, time to see how long this takes. So it's two minutes. Now from the Bertho Bank, you'd run down here with an empty inventory. You'd enter the Bertho Mine. And then you're just going to mine some clay. Since you're uh, such high mining, since you have the Rune Pickaxe plus three, you're going to be mining the clay instantly. So if you just go try to mine the clay over here, every single time that your character hits the rock, he will get some clay in the inventory every time. And then your experience will go down, right? If we don't click on the rock, his experience, 12 experience, and then 11 experience, and then 10 experience, seven. And then now he actually needs uh, two hits to get the clay rock. Oh, two to three hits. So if you sit here and click on a rock. Ah, uh, hello. Hi, Sky, you here? Yes, we are here. So if you click on the rock, it'll refresh your mining stamina. And then you'll be able to get more experience when mining them. Plus you'll uh, guarantee all of this. Um, oh shit. Um. Oh. I'm in a starter fire though. <laughs> oh, can we maybe add friend? How do you add friends? The Iron Man. Oh, um, follow. Friends, wanted to invite you F2P Iron Mani Man FC. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay, I'll join. Thanks. I am uh, doing a Iron Man guided through for you to. So now this uh, ruined everything. So let's go mine some clay. We got four bays. He interrupted us. We have to join uh, his clan chat. Trying to figure that out. So if we go here. How long did he take? He took up our time. He ruined ruined our timing of the video. We're trying to fill the well. So we're four minutes. So we ruined. You hit the space bar to soften all of the clay. We'll call out F2P stars in chat too and raids and evil trees. F2P. Oh, it's F2P. Oh, it's F2P. Fine. Neat. <laughs> Cool, so he has a free-to-play Iron Man. Cool, I wonder what his stats are. Examine stats. Oh, he has pretty high stats. He is free-to-play. It's a Fred's chat. Uh, oh, 
Oh, thanks. If we go here, we uh, form on the pottery wheel. You could form. There's different things you could form. The fishing urn is probably the most important. The highest one you could make is level 41 crafting. We made 140 of those strong fishing urns. You need to be a member and you need higher crafting. The mining urns. You can't make mining urns yet. You need level 48 crafting to make uh, mining urns. Level 48. So you're just about there. And then the wood cutting urns. That's what we've been making, right? The f fishing urns. Just because uh, fishing is so ridiculously long, make fishing urns. These give you more fishing experience. Plain wood cutting urn. That's what we've been making. You can make the best one at level 44 crafting. So we just uh, unlocked that one recently. F2P Iron Man FC. I guess we could uh, join the thing, right? Friends chat list. And if we leave, we already found the star for today. We already found it. So what is it? F2P Iron Man FC. So we already found the star find. So now with your inventory of a plain woodcutting urn, you enter Bertho Pier. And then you go to the chat here, to the uh, clay rocks. You mine the clay rocks. And then you get some more clay. So what's this? Welcome Chen's Frat uh, channel. I am. Hello. Oh. Hello. I'm a new. Oh, I'm a new Iron Man. I have to for now. I got a budget. There. So now we're at the friends chat. The cheesecake. Oh, there's another hardcore Iron Man. Hmm. He's the Iron Man, by the way. So he has level 92 Dungeoneering. 91 Mage, level 91 in all stats. He's been playing a lot longer. 60 quest points, 115 combat. Oh, your backpack is full. Now you'd go exit birth. Oh. So because we're doing these other things, this is the Abre Davi. That's his name. He's following us. <laughs> so now we have a uh, Iron Man friends. And if you go here and then you soften the clay. So basically, this just kind of saves one bank trip and then you're banking less. Like there is another method where you just go mine one inventory, make the 14 urns, go bank. Go mine the inventory, make 14 urns, go bank. Although that kind of probably does get repetitive, right? So you try to do other things. That's what this is called, the uh, double mining method. We go mine once, we make the urns, then we mine twice, so we mine double times, mine two times. Now, you could use the pottery oven. Instead of uh, firing 14 urns, we could fire 21 urns because we uh, went to the bank twice, or we went to the mine twice, that's it. You need to do the quest chef's assistant. We're helpful, so anything you are, just ask. Otherwise, meet me in the wilderness. Stop following you around Bertha for now. <laughs> oh, he's a player moderator. Is that what that means? Or does that mean the channel, channel moderator? Oh, it shows all the people here. So these are all uh, free to play, free to play Iron Man's. Interesting. Oh, so if you want to join the uh, free to play Iron Man chat, it's a uh, free to play Iron Man friends chat. Free to play Iron Man FC. So we're finding uh, new things we didn't know about the friends chat. So there is still some quests to do, right? We've been uh, contemplating if you should do the quests or not. Been thinking maybe you could, although they take so long. We've done another so many quests. Maybe take another day off. He tells us to do the chef's assistant. I play through. Oh, since when you don't uh, store or sell anymore when you stock? So watch what you say. <laughs> so we are recording right now. So now everybody knows that they're being watched. Oh, now the YouTube channel is going to thrive because people are uh, in the friends chat. And they're gonna be like, Tyrell, how did you get a dungeoneering up so quick? You just run large floors in dungeoneering. So with the full inventory, we'll run back. We'll try the counter thing, right? We'll stay here. We don't know how long it takes. We'll record both methods. So if it's like uh, 9, we'll say leave at 10 o'clock. 
it says 10 minutes. So we'll just go do a trip uh, without the interruption. We'll ignore everything. So you enter Birth Hope. We start at 10 minutes. We'll see how long this method takes. So you go to the clay rocks. And then if you were just uh, mining the clay rocks, you just mine a full inventory. So I don't think this uh, method takes too long. We'll see how long it takes compared to the double mining method, uh, which is which is so much better, right? Because uh, in the end, you're thinking how many times you have to run to the bank, how many times you have to run back to the mining spot, how many times you have to uh, run back to the bank, how many times you have to run back to the mining spot. So that's why the double mining method that we figured out is so efficient. So you only run to the bank, uh, I don't know, 50% less? That makes sense. If you were to run to the bank three times, you'd only have to run to the bank two times. Amazing. It means you're out in the world more, away from the bank. So besides uh, mining and crafting, oh, pretty soon crafting will be level 47. And then your mining, your mining's going up, right? Actually, all of your mining experience is scaled with your level. So even though you're mining clay, a level one clay, you're still getting uh, lots of experience because it uh, scaled up. Essentially, almost the same amount that you'd get from mining uh, mithril or iron. I think uh, adamant gives slightly bit more. Adamant usually gives like 30. Maybe runite gives like 40. Though, you have to really watch out for that. So if we're going here, and then if we're going to fail with the water well, and then hit the spacebar button. So this part here takes about two minutes, a little bit under two minutes. That's all right. Two minutes to get a full inventory running from the bank to the place. Full inventory. This first method might take like, what, three or four minutes? We'll have to see. Oh, you get a one experience for every clay that you make. So also when you're wetting the clay, if you were to wet like a 1,000 clay, that's a 1,000 crafting experience. So it probably does actually add up. Although most of your experience would be from the urns. Plain wood cutting urn, we had it saved. So this part, they go by really quick. They make so quick. 34 experience, so it's a really, really quick experience at this point for crafting. And if you were to fire the urns right here, right now, plain wood cutting urn. So now we've just about reached the three minute point. This part takes about one minute, and then if it takes like one minute to go bank again. Just because of the uh, slow crafting time of these. Oh, unless we could try a method where really like click and then hit the space bar and then click and then hit the space bar. Does that work? That does work in Dungeoneering. We know that. We do that for uh, crafting, crafting these staffs. Whenever you're crafting these staffs in Dungeoneering, you just want to uh, click it and then craft and then space bar. Click and then craft. <clears throat> so crafts it so slow, so slow like this. We're going to have to see if it speeds it up. So essentially we're at like 40 minutes, 40 seconds I mean. So now if we go bank, so this method takes around exactly 40 minutes, or 4 minutes, yes. 4 minutes will get you uh, one inventory, you deposit everything, and then you can run to the bank. It's more like uh, 4 minutes and 57 seconds, but close enough. <clears throat> oh, so now let's do the other method. So let's just sit here and wait. We see that that took four minutes. So you could do like 10, 15 trips. 15 trips, and then however much experience you got. Hmm. So we're just gonna sit here and wait uh, until the timer says 15. And then we're gonna go do some other things. So with crafting, you have uh, one of the requirements for cabin fever. You're learning how to craft new things, playing wood cutting urn. You need 44 to craft that. Oh, and then within Dungeoneering, you're going to be able to craft uh, all of the armors. Once you get to level 50 Dungeoneering, then you'll be able to wear the armor piece and the bottoms. Alright, so now we could uh, time this crafting crafting method pretty soon. The double, double mining. 
So we can go, it's uh, the timer says 15. The other method took uh, four minutes. We got uh, 14, 14 of those, 14 uh, urns. We try the double mining method. We just run to the Berthold mine. And then you go to the clay. You go mine the clay just before. Except this time you're not going to bank right away. This time we're just gonna sit there and uh, fire the urns. We're gonna fire 21 instead of 14. And then by that time we'd have what? Seven inventory spaces? So then it wouldn't uh, make sense to go mine a third inventory load. Wouldn't make sense to run back in here just for uh, seven, seven ores. Although, maybe it does make sense to go here for 14 ores. We're gonna have to see, because eventually uh, we were gonna go around the world. We were gonna look at all the enemies, because we do need the achievements for getting, um, for going in all the altars, making all of the tiaras, right? If you go to Falador, uh, make a mine tiara. So we need a mine talisman. If we go to Lumbridge, craft a, oh, craft a water rune on the water altar. You need a water talisman. If you go to Ferroc, there's a whole bunch of things to do in Ferroc. But it would say something. Oh, enter the earth altar using an earth talisman or tiara. So we need a earth talisman. We're gonna have to go figure out which uh, enemies drop the talismans. And then you're gonna have to go collect all of the talismans. So we could cast a Verrock teleport spell. We haven't uh, really done anything in Verrock, I guess. So now once you leave the mine, you just go claim the water again, fill the water well. <clears throat> So now we're at uh, two minutes just like before. <clears throat> Took a little bit longer than two minutes. Maybe did we uh, slow down by three seconds somehow? Lost uh, three seconds that run. So now you would uh, fill the soft clay just like before. And then it uh, changes pretty soon. Pretty soon we just go form on the pottery wheel. And then we'd make uh, whatever urns you were crafting. And then once you get to level 48 crafting, you could just do uh, mining urns up until level 50. And then you'd have a good selection of urns. You just have to get the get all the runes for the urns, which uh, should be easy if you're doing rune crafting. So then you would uh, create all of the 14, 14 plain woodcutting urns. Or cooking urns, whichever ones you're doing. Fishing urns. You could enter the birth out mine. Now this is where it changes, right? You go back into the mine. Instead of banking, you would uh, mine the clay rock. And we know that those uh, ore boxes, they don't actually hold the clay. We tried it. So the ore boxes, they only hold ore. We don't know if there's like a clay bag or anything. We don't think there is. So you would just sit here and mine 14 more clay, and then you could go exit here, and then you could just uh, turn the clay into more urns <clears throat> without having to go to the bank. Let's see, this part's taken four minutes to do all of this. Took four minutes to do the other thing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're just reaching the four minute point when we leave this place. So, at this point, we would be just finished the other run. And we would just uh, be running back to this place to go mine some more clay. And then at this point, we're just uh, running out of here to wet some more clay at the well. So you could kind of compare if they, were, if they were beside each other, right? You could just do two runs beside each other if we wanted to edit the videos, but uh, we're not doing too much editing until we actually do stuff later. So now you come and craft uh, seven more of the urns, and then you would just use the pottery oven to fire all 21 of them. And it also means just a longer AFK session, right? If this is uh, 21 instead of 14, you could do AFK for a little bit longer. 
So this would be the five, five minute point. So this has been five minutes. So this probably takes uh, six minutes. The other one takes four minutes. Oh, okay. So if the other one takes four minutes, this takes six minutes. That's a easy math. Easy math. You just uh, calculate all of the items. You did 14 in four minutes, or you could do 21 in six minutes. Which one is more worth it? <laughs> Which one's more worth it? It's probably worth it uh, switching in between them, or maybe just doing this method, just because it's less running around, a lot less running around, a lot less going to the bank. So we are reaching the 45 second point right now. It takes 15 seconds to make these and then go bank. Oh, it's taking a little bit longer. Let me just run to the bank. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, roughly about six minutes. If we uh, lost three seconds in that other route. So this route takes uh, six minutes. The other route takes four minutes. So we could... Uh, learn and do whatever we can with those do all the calculations which uh one is the more experience per hour how much experience per hour do you get with each method you have to calculate the mining experience right because you're getting mining experience and you're getting crafting experience and you're also getting a uh, wood cutting experience or fishing experience or cooking experience or extra mining experience because of the urns themselves when you actually use the urns so i think that's the end of this clip this was just the uh, mining clip how to mine how to do crafting how to gather the urns eventually we're gonna have to use the urns we're gonna have to get runes for the urns this clip's like 22 minutes perfect if we just make it run out three minutes longer then we just have to do another 20 minute clip of something. We just go use them and just go do more things. Or we could do a quest quick. Maybe chef's assistant. Missing presumed death once upon a slime. We don't want to do quests. So I think we well if we end the clip at like 22 and a half minutes, that's alright. We'll come back later. We're just uh mining clay, wetting it. That was the end of the video. Well, the end of this clip anyways. All right, now we're back again. So we're uh, using the pottery oven. We're making plain wood cutting urns. I think we're gonna be making different wood cutting urns, but the reason we came back is because uh, we leveled up. Like uh, all the RuneScape videos we've been watching, they just uh, don't record anything. All they record is the level ups. It's like, and we got level 47 crafting, and we got level 48 crafting, level 49. Now we are level 50 crafting. You don't know what happens uh, in between. You don't know how they got to the crafting level. So that's what these videos are for. Because I know RuneScape, you sit there for hours and hours just uh, mining and smithing and crafting and wood chopping. So maybe long, long 45 minute videos are actually decent for this game. We shall see. And if you go into the mine, this is just so repetitive, right? You go into here, this is going to be another six minutes. We know how long this is going to take now because we timed it. <laughs> so we're like, if we could do 10 trips, it's uh, 210 urns an hour. 210 urns an hour. Oh, we could just do calculations. Let's look at the calculator. So if we could do 210 urns an hour. And they're like uh, 80 experience each. So that is 16,000 crafting experience. Uh, plus you're doing uh, 420 clays, 420 clays an hour. So that'd be another 420 crafting experience. So 17,000 crafting experience an hour. And then if you're getting like what, 420 times on average 20 or 25. I'll say 25. On average, uh, 25. You're getting uh, 10,000 mining experience per hour. 10,000 mining experience. 17,000 crafting experience per hour. And then uh, whatever the urns give you. 
whatever the urns give you for experience. We're not sure what they give you. Though if we got like 210 urns and if they give you like uh, 1,000, 1,000 experience each at least, we're gonna have to see. Once we start uh, using the urns and teleporting them, then we'll have uh, more math into our calculation. All we have so far is just the uh, 17,000 crafting and just the 10,000 mining experience. And then the urns, those are a mystery. We know that we can make 210 urns an hour. Wonder what the other method is. So if you're making like 14 urns, and it takes you four minutes. You can do what, like 15, 210 urns an hour. It's exactly the same. <laughs> it's exactly the same. Like 14 times 0.5, 7. It's exactly the same. Both of the methods are exactly the same, so it doesn't matter which method you use, neither neither of them is faster than the other. They're both exactly the same. Considering uh, fishing is the most annoying one, we're gonna make uh, fishing urns. We're gonna make more fishing urns. Woodcutting isn't too bad, although we will be using the urns. So we found out, so we did do some, well, we didn't do any editing, we just took up the calculator and then we got the numbers here and then here's everything. We go back into the mine, there's no difference, no difference with the method you take. If you want to burn, if you want to burn 14 urns at a time and then go bank and then just mine a full inventory of clay and then just uh, bank, make 14 urns, uh, or if you want to do the double mining method, and do 21 urns at a time. Exactly the same, it just uh, seems a lot better just because you're banking a lot less. Oh, have we been recording? We're still recording five minutes, four, four minutes and a half. We'll do a five minute clip. We're almost uh, mining level. Oh, pretty soon we'll be a crafting level. So maybe we'll come back when we level up uh, crafting again. We'll be 48 crafting. And then 49 crafting, oh, level 48 crafting, you will be able to make the mining urns. If you go here, oh, crafting window, not the fledging window, the crafting one. You can now make uh, new chaps in Damonheim, in Dungeoneering. So let's go here, we'll just go see, it is in a one more level, right? Crafting, everything, hide members, uh, space bar. Scroll down, uh, oh, you can select uh, objects. Scroll down to the bottom, strong mining urn, strong smelting urn. Basically, you have uh, all the best urns. The plain cooking urn would be the best urn, I guess. This is how you could see uh, what urns do you unlock? When do you get the best urns for, uh, for the skill you're doing? This is how you would do it. Uh, the fishing urn, level 41, wood cutting, 44, mining, 48. Smithing, smelting, 49. Though it doesn't uh, seem too useful, the smelting urn. Maybe it can be useful. Maybe it is. It just uh, takes so long to fill up the smelting urn. Smelting urn seems like the least useful. Mining, wood cutting, fishing would be the most useful. Would uh, cooking be alright? Rune crafting seems 100% pointless. Especially with the rune span, never, never make the rune crafting urn. I don't know if you even make the cooking urn too much. Maybe the cooking urn. We're not sure what the accursed ashes do. I think it's just when uh, you're fighting things that drop ashes, right? If you're fighting things that drop ashes, the ashes will collect in the urn. Something like that. We gotta look into prayer urns. Essentially, you're just making the fishing urn, just the woodcutting urn, just the mining urn. Those are the three urns to make. Hello, now we're back for another clip again. So we're not exactly sure what we're gonna do. We're making the uh, plain cooking urns. Just so we have uh, most of the urns. And then we're actually uh, almost level 48 crafting. So if you go use the pottery oven, you could make another 21, 21 urns. We're just making cooking urns. Just because we didn't have any. So cooking goes by so quick, it'll uh, go by even faster now, I guess. 
And then for getting the actual runes, how are we going to get the actual runes? We could uh, rune craft them, or we could just uh, attack enemies that drop runes, hopefully. Hopefully we could just find some enemies that just drop runes for us, and then we just kill the enemies, and then the enemies give us all of the runes, and then um, we could go do skilling with them. Essentially, I don't think we're actually going to run around and do rune crafting. We're only level 45 rune crafting anyways. Or if we look at our crafting level, now we are uh, level 48 crafting. There we go. Now you can craft uh, better urns. Well, you can craft the final urn that you can on free to play. <coughs> you craft the mining urn. And then I guess there's the smelting urn that's level 59. Although you're gonna need so few of those, you're gonna need so few smelting urns. So uh, these smelting urns, it's only when you're smelting bars, which maybe it'll add up if you if you manage to get a whole bunch of ores somehow, and then you just need to smelt a whole bunch of bars, and then maybe it'll maybe the experience will add up. It's just you won't be uh, using them a whole lot. So we're just gonna go mine the inventory and then make your very first uh, mining urn. Basically now once you're level 48, most of the mostly everything's unlocked. Oh, except for uh, blue dragons, because we were looking on the crafting screen. Like, uh, what else is there to do for crafting on free to play? So if you go to crafting, it says now we could make those in Damonheim. Oh, even if you go to Dungeoneering, it says uh, you're going to need higher level crafting up to 59. 59 to make the best items, to make the best uh, range armor and the best mage armor. So I guess you do need like level 60 crafting. But then if you go to everything, then you scroll down. We'll just go to everything and scroll down for right now. Just say you need a level 72 to get the blue dragon hide shield, and the level 71 for the blue dragon hide body, level 70 for the diamond amulet. So I guess you need like level 70 crafting too, level 70 to get uh, the best amulet, and then you're gonna need magic to enchant the diamond amulet. So we're gonna have to figure out where there's a uh, blue dragons on free to play, and we're gonna have to figure out where there's green dragons on free to play. Then you'll be able to uh, craft those. So essentially, you're gonna need uh, all of these crafting levels. You need like uh, even to make the green just without the shield. You're gonna need level 63 crafting. So it's definitely something to work towards. Though at level 48, the strong mining urn, that's uh, what you have been working towards. So essentially, we're just gonna go fill up uh, some one more thing of clay. And then we're just gonna make some mining urns. And then uh, are we gonna go fill up some more? Maybe. We've just been uh, crafting the whole episode though. Is there anything else to do? We don't know if there is any other achievements to do in a uh, birth oak or anything. Or should we just keep this all uh, crafting? Exploration in birth oak, there isn't anything. Maybe is it Taverly? So how do you find the uh, new players, new players achievements? Miscellaneous plans, features, many quests. We're not sure. All right, so you have a full inventory of clay. Now, if you go to form on the pottery wheel, if you go to mining urns, now at level 48, you can make the best uh, strong mining urn. So that'd be good to make these. So if you ever go mining again in the future, you could go mining, and then you could be carrying the mining urn, and then uh, you'd be getting bonus mining experience. So later, we're actually gonna use these. You just need to go and get uh, runes first. So uh, you create them, you create them like this, and then you fire them, and then you still can't actually use them. If we're gonna look at one of them, it's gonna say you need to add a rune to it before you could use it. So you're gonna have to go and get a rune somehow. Which means maybe the next episode should be talisman hunting. Talisman hunting so we could uh, go essentially complete those achievements anyways. And maybe a rune hunting. 
Maybe we'll go around the world, figure out what enemies uh, drop those things. We need to level up combat and everything. Although we would like to do combat uh, in between the videos, but we would uh, like to uh, know what the enemies drop. Oh! Or maybe in between the video, I could just go around in the uh, lumbered catacombs and we c I could uh, kill things and I'll level up ranging. And then when we come back, our ranging will be up and our melee stats. And then we'll actually have uh, information about the enemies in the catacombs. So we'd like to just go in there and then see what the enemies drop, see if there's anything good that we get. Maybe in the next video we'll come back, we'll say, we got these items and they dropped from these enemies. Here's where they are. You just go kill these ones. These are what we did. And if we're level 30 melee stats by then, then that'd be uh, even better. So we go here, form at the pottery wheel. We're just gonna form these uh, strong mining urns and then fire them. And then we're just gonna do the introduction to going into combat to what we're doing. I think essentially we're just going to be equipping a uh, range gear and then we're going to be equipping melee gear. Oh, we could make the melee weapons and everything and we could make the bows and everything. Yeah, we definitely have the fletching levels. We definitely have the smithing levels. Would it make sense to smith all of them, make all of them? I don't know. I think we already have basic weapons. We should, should make some weapons in one episode though. Do we just level up wall? The experience is going to be so quick when we're actually down in the catacombs attacking everything. We'll have to figure out something to do. Cause, uh, we've been uh, crafting for so long. You've been crafting for so long. You're probably tired of crafting. I think you're at level 43 crafting. 43 crafting when you started. So you've got like 5 levels already five crafting levels just making urns probably here for hours probably only like two hours if we made like 420 of them then that means we've been here for two hours considering since we timed everything right we timed how long making all these takes so here we go oh and if uh, these give more experience if these give a uh, more experience than the other urns then you're getting a uh, even more crafting experience i guess we never factored that into the thing different things have so now you have some strong mining urns maybe now you want to do some combat so what do you want to do melee or ranged if we go if we do we'll just do ranged and melee probably if you go to the home teleport you go to falador I guess we'll just go to Falador, make some weapons. We need to make some uh, bows and everything, make some arrows. Although making these weapons is going to take so long, right? We're going to be here smithing them and it's going to say it's going to take absolutely forever to make these weapons here. And we're going to have to make level 30, 30 melee armor and level 30 ranged armor with a uh, crafting. However, you make the level 30 ranged armor. Should we just uh, make all of it in between the video? So we just need to fill like five more minutes here. And then just, we just need to do something in between the video. We go to smelt furnace. Let me say, well, we just wanna grab something, right? What do we wanna make? If we smith on the anvil, what can we make? So it's just level 20, level 30. We don't really need armor, we just need a weapon. We can only use uh, bronze. Oh, eventually we're gonna have to use uh, iron, level 10, steel, level 20. If we defeat the vampire, we get like so many attack levels. Unless it's a combat EXP. Hmm. Maybe we just make the bows. Oh, if we go to the home teleport, if we go to Varrock, we don't even, even have to make anything, right? If you go to Varrock, there's a bow shop. Hopefully, hopefully he'll sell you everything that you need. Oh, maybe even a uh, Berthope, there was there was uh, somebody that sold everything. So I think you have like arrows and everything. You have a whole bunch of steel arrows when you get to level 20 range. And then Mithril's like level 30, Adamant's level 40. 
runes level 50. So if you go to Varrock to the arrow shop up here, you trade with Lowy. Trade with Low. Should have a uh, should have bows for you, right? You can buy the Willow short bow. Oh, range level 20. Yeah, so you don't have to craft them. They're not expensive. It's just like 100 gold buy one oak short bow. 200 gold buy one uh, Willow short bow level 20. Oh, although you're not gonna want that. You have the charge bow. Charge bow would be better. You could buy one maple bow for 400 gold. And then you could buy a U bow level 40 range for uh, 800 gold. So just buy these short bows for now. And then the armors. You could use level 20 armor, but soon you'd be able to use level 30 armor. Hmm. Guess just buy a set of level 20 armor. And then you could uh, replace it here. Won't uh, cost too much. Just right click, buy one helmet, buy one studded body, buy one studded chaps, and then that's it. Then you could buy the level 30 set. Oh, you could even buy uh, the green green armor. You don't have to craft it. You just come here and buy the level uh, 40 range set. It's just the blue hides you're gonna have to find. So you could have uh, re equipped everything, equipped it with all the uh, ranged gear. You can't use the Willow Short Bow because you're not high enough level yet. It's comparing the oh, you need level 10 range. We were just going to use the Charge Bow just because it doesn't require ammunition. You put your other uh, bows here to save. If you, need them. you don't have inventory space for the bows. Oak Short Bow. Just upgrade when you get to the Willow. You could uh, destroy the Oak Short Bow. You don't need that thing anymore. Go to the bank, withdraw the charge bow. Yeah, charge bow, 91 to 150. So level 20 bow. Oh, the uh, level 20 bow is a lot better. And the steel arrows are level 20. And then the mithril arrows are level 30. So you could rearrange your inventory a bit, put your level 30 bow by the level 30 arrows. So you go like this, but like willow short bow, steel arrow, maple short bow. Mithril arrow, you short bow, adamant arrows. Uh, whenever you make them, you can even put like the arrowheads above them. Kind of rearrange your inventory here now. We got all the steel arrows, adamant arrows, like uh, logs or something. And then where were the other ones? Oh, bronze arrows. Bronze is a uh, way too really. Oh, we had steel arrow heads. Oh, we did steel arrow heads. There we go. Do we have any normal logs? No, we don't. So our inventory is uh, cleaned up a bit. We could go into uh, tabs a bit later. Those would help. But for now, the uh, wheel, the charge bow. Now you're not a mage anymore. Now you're a ranger. So if you deposit here. I don't think we need uh, food or anything, right? Maybe we'll draw like one pike just in case, but uh, you should be fine. If you do home teleport button, go to Lumbridge. This is what we're gonna do while the video is rendering. So you got to level 48 crafting. Now you can make all of your mining urns and everything. You could get to level 50 crafting like that. Or you could go into dungeoneering, because uh, every dungeoneering floor gives you what? Like, over 7,000 crafting experience and it keeps going up. So the bank is up there where you would bank. And then you would go down here to the catacombs, enter the catacombs. Then you're basically just exploring, seeing if uh, any of the enemies drop you anything. And then going to bank, use the home teleport to bank. Maybe uh, see what the warped cockroaches drop. See, kill a whole bunch of them, see if they drop anything. And then if they don't really drop anything, then just move on to the next guys. So these guys drop uh, staffs of air. Wonder if that's gonna help us. We don't really need staffs of air. If these guys don't drop anything good, maybe move on to the corpse spiders. Maybe, maybe get lots of crafting levels. Drop like 120 gold. That's pretty good. Bronze arrows. Staff of air. <clears throat> so they're not gonna be difficult, right? Drop a uh, runes, thread, three air runes. Maybe there's uh, better drops from the enemies that are deeper in the cave. Yeah, like 
like bury the bones, I guess. Bury the bones, get prayer experience. These guys drop uh, water runes, two water runes. So they don't drop too many water runes. I think the guys more near the end would drop uh, better things. But for here, you can just uh, craft, craft all of the uh, spider silk into torsos. Let's go bank those, maybe. If you need money for anything. Don't sell them to the store, keep them for uh, selling later. You could uh, high alchemy them, right? Silver, sil spider silk robe top. Make uh, these, that's what you do with these guys. And then what's in here, the warp fly. Oh, let's uh, end the video. We're gonna keep going deeper and see what, uh, what else the enemy is dropping here. Oh, here, and then just uh, one final clip because we thought of it. We thought, uh, we're not gonna be able to do anything with, uh, one food. Not gonna be able to do anything with one food. So we're gonna go bank. And, uh, what is this item? Tiny blunt, uh, bronze salvage. What is that item? Tiny blunt bronze salvage. What does that mean? What do we do with it? Examine. Salvageable fragments of smithed, smith, uh, crushing weaponry. What is it for? High alchemy 20. Salvageable fragments. So we're even finding uh, items we don't know anything about. We don't have inventory space to store anything, right? This will make you clean your inventory. You'll be like, uh, what do we need these sardines for? Maybe you don't need these sardines. Maybe you don't need this too. Maybe you don't need the soft clay. It's easy to get. And, uh, the raw salmon. You have a whole bunch of pike. The raw rabbits. You can get them again. Oh no, the ashes. You don't need those. You don't need these cow hides. You don't need the raw beef. If you need them, you could just get them easily again. What else do you not need? Probably a lot of things. Energy potion. Although, can you? You can't make them, can you? Just try to clear your inventory. Eventually, you're gonna get rid of these once you get your attack rating up. Uh, the chef's hat, you need that for the chef's guild. So there's not too much to get rid of. Get rid of the oak logs, maybe? You don't need oak logs anymore. Although you will need them in the future. Maybe these spider silk, these salvage. Just try to keep your inventory clean. Staff of air is pretty much useless, right? Maybe try to gather ruins and whatever those things do. So now we have uh, seven spots. We could just uh, drop these. We're not going to bother selling them. They're not going to be worth too much. And then your inventory is clear. Oh, keep the water ruins. We came here because we we're looking for uh, more food. Cause we're looking for air. Trying to fight these stronger enemies. And we're trying to get the better loot. We're probably going to need a little bit more food. So we brought uh, what for. Because we do want to uh, pick up what they carry, what they drop, right? Or are we just looking for runes? We don't even know. We'll just uh, just bring two rows of food. If you need more rows of food, then uh, bring bring more food next time. Just you don't want to run into the problem of bringing too much food. So back into the catacombs. Oh, this video is going to make the uh, episode go even longer. We shouldn't uh, record too much. So that was uh, how you clean your inventory. That's uh, how you return back home to get more food when you run out of food. Then you want to bank everything. So now back uh, deeper into the catacombs. We're going to try to get our uh, ranged level up to range level 30. Oh, so maybe we'll just get a one range level and then we'll be level 10 range and then we can use new things. So we don't want to kill corpse spiders. We don't care about crafting or anything. Sword flies, we don't know what they drop. Torsos, because we could uh, kill them and see what they drop, right? Corpse crawling hands, they're weak to range. Or is that crossbow? Weak to bolts. So they are a little bit weaker to range, but mostly cross bolts. If we had a... Uh, we got a bow and arrow, crossbow. So how many earth runes does he drop? Four earth runes. We don't know what the rats drop. We don't know what the skeletons drop. Probably, probably looking for the skeleton mages, I would imagine. I imagine the uh, mages, mages would be the best for corpse archers. Maybe they drop arrows or something. Uh, skull blown. They're weak to magic. Corpse mage, they're weak to... So let's see what they're weak to, right? 
Whatever they're weak to, we should bring it. Weak to throw in weapons. So they're weak to range. Oh, if we made a whole bunch of throwing knives, we could just come in here with throwing knives and then just uh, kill them with throwing knives. Maybe we'll kill this one corpse mage. We'll see the experience drop, see the level up. And then we will uh, basically end the video and then come back and then hopefully be level 30 range. And hopefully have a whole bunch of runes. Hopefully have uh, all of the talismans. These guys drop a gold necklace. Oh, it's just, is that worth much? Examine, what's it? 130, it's only 270 south or high alchemy value. So I imagine these course mages should drop runes. We're gonna have to see, we'll come back, we'll update you in the next video. Oh, we didn't get the level up. We have to kill one more course mage. We almost forgot to get the level up because uh, everybody has to record every level up, right? Don't miss any of the level ups. Don't miss a single one. So it is taking a while because you are a new ranger, right? You're only level nine. Once you get to level uh, 20 range and get your steel arrows and your willow bow, is that what it is, the willow bow? Then you'll be doing uh, much better against the corpse mages. And once you get to level uh, 30 defense, just 30, oh, there's range level 10. So we dropped a staff. I don't know if a staff's gonna help us too much. We wanna ruins from these guys.